this picture is the fitting of my wedding gown. Um, this was in see Francis Libiran. Um, he designed my wedding gown, and this is the first fitting. And then when we talked, I told him, "Gusto ko very simple lang, very elegant, very timeless." And as you can see, medyo chubby talaga ako um, nung time na yan, nung wedding ko. And nung wedding ko mismo, medyo tumaba pa ako. So itong ano? Chubby na ako, pero mas naging chubby pa ako ng wedding ko. And as you can see, pinakasalan pa rin ako ng asawa ko. So, guys, kung mahal talaga kayo ng tao, kahit ano pa itsura mo, kahit ano ka pa, is tatanggapin ka at mamahalin ka niya no matter what. So, Aww. ayan nga. And very beautiful ang gown. Ang gagawin ko dyan, ipapamana ko sa future daughter ko. So, yun. Yan ang plano dyan. Very timeless. But I love it. I love my wedding gown. This was in Peninsula. That's his office. Okay, this picture was the the culture mapping. The first time na nag culture mapping ang Bayambang. If I, di ba? If I can remember, you were there po ka. And this was under and the workshop was parang being facilitated by Engineer Palafox. Because of course we want to we want to build Bayambang and ano build it to to make it grow into a into the city I'm claiming it that it's supposed to be and this is the the ba this is the time and sumali lang ako for fun <laughs> sumali lang ako I just gave my idea so <laughs> Anton Magsaysay he's one of my closest closest friends ever since we were young um and dami na rin namin pinagdaanan niyan hi brother um so yun he's here and he's helping us with some of the businesses here in Bayambang and also his his lolo has a statue here because he's the right yeah he's the grandson of president magsaysay so there that's anton magsaysay great grandson i mean that's him i was shocked there because i don't know why and that's kuya jerry and we love kuya jerry so much because he loves someone that i love so much so. <laughs> but it's true he loves someone that I love so much. This one, sorry. This was for a movie. I forgot. But uh, I was a ghost. Lagi pag nang movie either ghost ako, pinapatay ako, white lady ako. Yan ang mga role ko. Nasa ha, linagay ako sama ko jan. Nagproduce nito si Herbert Bautista. Tapos kasama ko jan si Andrew E. Herbert Bautista, Dennis Padilla. Nandun ako sa air. Linagyan nilang harness. Nagpo-float-float float ako sa air. Kasi parang nasa niban ako. So, yan. Pero yung time na yan, very malungkot rin ako sa buhay. Sorry, pero totoo. Very malungkot ako nung buhay ko, sa buhay ko niyan. Very... You can see it with my eyes, oh. So, very sad. Um, I was having... Kasi sobra kasi ako magmahal. Um, before, guys should cheat on me. And it really, hindi ko kaya talaga. There was a point in time, and those were the days I wanted to kill myself. I would drive around. I just, and there was one time na siya yung wiper, and it was those days. Ah, sobrang it's raining hard. Wala na akong pakailam kung hindi ako makarating sa bahay and mabunggo ako. Ganon yung mga inisip ko before. And sorry ah, nagsis sleeping pills ako before nagsabay sa bahay. Gusto ko na lang mawala. Yun yung mga days na yan. So, as you can see, guys, I don't know if you can see it, but I was very sad in that picture. And I had a sad... Paano ba? My 20s were sad. Yeah. My late teenage years to my early 20s was very, very sad. Next. Okay, this one. See? You can see? I was a... I was a happy baby. That's my, me and my mom. Um, I was very spoiled by my family, by my parents, by my lolo, by everyone around me. And this picture, I don't remember, but all I know is, siguro I was two years old or three years old. I don't know where it was. All I know is it's me and my mom. My mom's so beautiful. Um, makulit talaga akong bata. I'm like my son, Antonio. I look like him. And those were the happy, happy days in my life, I think. There. 
Oh. Okay, that's me and my Tonyo. Um, he's so young, pa there. He's like two years old that time. Um, this was this was here in the house. It was one of those random days, and I just really like this picture because we look alike there, sobra. He really looks like me there, and now he's big and he's so cool and he's so shy. He's not. He's still malambing to me, but in general, lumaki na siya, so time flies by so fast. Uh, make the most out of it. So there. Oh! That's Dino. That's Dino, our dog. Um, I think this was Christmas also. We were welcoming 2011 at that. Or 2009. This is my dad's house. This is Dino. He's my brother. Uh, he's still alive. Now he's like 79 years old. He's there in the house. Because in dog years, you count every year by 11. So he's been with us since what? 2009? 2010? 2009 to 2010. And he's still there and he's happy. I wasn't really fond of dogs before. And medyo up to now also. But even my parents, even especially my mom, takot na takot mommy ko sa aso. And ever since Nino came into her lives, everything changed. Sobrang love na love niya yung mga dogs. Mas love pa niya kay sa amin eh. <laughs> Joke lang. Pero yun, they're family to us. These animals, these pets, they're not ordinary animals to us. They're like family and he's my brother, like what I said. And I was so thin there. Okay, I was so thin there. Okay, I was so thin there. Where did she find these pictures? Okay, this picture, I was in a golf trip with Cesar and his wak wak friends. And these are the wives. As you can see, I was the youngest. I was like their baby. And I had fun with them in, in Tokyo. Um, ito, tag -ikot -ikot lang kami. It's the, day, the, the wives' day off. And then they, I went on my own path because I wanted to go somewhere by myself also and explore the town. And Japan is really my favorite country. If I were given a choice to stay somewhere and do my great somewhere, it would really be there. Everything is peaceful, clean. It's just my place to be, Japan. So I love it there. This picture was the birthday of Gap last two years ago, no? Two years na yun eh. In Shangri La. And Kasi pagdating sa games, very competitive ako. I'm a very in nature competitive person. And kahit sa kiddie games, I have to make my son win. Um, talagang, go! Ganyan ako. And this was the day na napakasaya namin lahat. And this was the day na our family was almost complete. And then, naalala ko yung mga tao slide ng slide. Dun sa pinakatuktok na slide. And... Yon, ako lang never hindi. But I would really remember. Maybe this is where we all got COVID. This is the day probably that we all got COVID. Kasi free ibang iba no. Ang daming tao, hindi na pwede ng ganyan ngayon. But this is the time na feeling ko we all had COVID kasi <laughs> He had the video of me, my small. Okay, this is a this is the birthday of I think Tita Julie. Um, you look like Mama Antonio. That's you, but girl version. <laughs> Antonio left, Anna. So this is a birthday ata or Christmas in Tita Julie's house and we were playing Group Yourselves. It's one of my favorite games. Kung walang COVID, ang saya-saya ng game na yan. Group Yourselves into two! And ang, ang, nag, ang nag host niyan si Tita Glo. So as you can see, si Tita Glo, very happy ang voice niyan. So ang saya-saya lang namin. Ayun, o yun kami ni Cesar, ang saya-saya lang namin. Nakakamiss lang yung mga times na ganyan. No? Nakakamiss lang. Grabe yung voice ko, no?
This is my birthday. See, kamuhang kamuha ako talaga si Tonyo, tin mo? No? Tonyo, Tonyo, Tonyo? Girl version. Um, this is my second or third birthday. I told you, I was everyone's world. I was the world of everyone around me, and this is just my party. And in my party, I have changed outfit four times. I think my party was in Gasparelli in Pasay Road. Si Gasparelli, the owner of that restaurant, is my friend Pilar. Sila yung pinakamasarap na Spanish restaurant before in Manila. So yun. This picture also. It was one of the fun moments of my life because I was one with I was with one of my very very good friends, si Awi. Hi, Froggy. She's one of my good 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 friends and one of my best friends too. Um, this is in San Yun Resorts World. And favorite namin place don is Opus. So ito yung one of these days nag Opus lang kami and then kumain kami na favorite namin na strawberry pavlova. Ito yun. Tapos nag decide kami pa picture picture lang kami. Tapos yung nagpipicture picture sa amin yung PA ko si Michiko. PA ko noon si Michiko. So ito yon, yun yung result. And the other guy there is CJM. Um he was a stylist before for Kidlat and then I think he resigned and then I made him stay with me for a while in Salcedo. So yun. Yun yun ang story. This photo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, this picture. Naka wheelchair ako nyan. People had to carry me down the stairs because I was bleeding so bad. I was having a miscarriage. I had miscarriage twice. The first one was that baby. Um, hindi siya natuloy. And then the first time na sobrang sobrang pinakamasakit ever sa buong mundo na feel ko until nagka burn ako. Pero yan talagang sobrang, sobrang, sobrang sakit niyan. Feeling ko parang sinuntok ako na twinis yung ganun ko, na hinampas ako, na amahapte. I was bleeding profusely. Um, yun pala, I was having a chemical pregnancy. So, because I have APAS, it's a immunological disorder um, uh, na ginagamot. At that time, I didn't know I had it. So, right after that miscarriage, I got tested if I had APAS. And true enough, I have I have APAS category one, two, and five. Um, sin, that was like 9 p.m. Cesar and I, sinugod ako agad ni Cesar sa St. Luke's. And then yun, they had to make the bleeding go past. And it was one of the pinakamasakit na things na na-experience ko sa life ko. Kasi aside from the pain, the pain of, you know, losing a child, a pregnancy, cannot compare. And na ulit sa ulit, so I don't know what God is trying to teach me, but I hope I learned it. So yeah. Um, this picture was in Binibining Bayan Bang 2018, right? Or 2019? 2018. No, 2019, Sibiana. This is Binibining Bayan Bang 2019, and it was one of the. You can see I was very happy here. Because I felt like, you know, this is my project, Binibining Bayan Bang, and it was very successful. So you could see the difference from my past pictures and that time. Now, today, I feel happy and contented. Aww. So, I guess what you learn from this is God will make you go through storms in life. Marami kang pagdadaanan, marami kang... Trial sa buhay mo, pero always, always, God has a reason at may kapalit. And I guess, part yan is to make you stronger as a person and more grateful for what you have. So, yun. Okay. This was an FHM. My second FHM. The second FHM picture was... Nag makeup sa kanya si Jigs Mayuga. Photographer niyan si Sander Perez. And this FHM. Part, actually, part yan ng days na. Yan mo yung naglakad ako sa FHM kanina. Part yan ng days na yun. Kasi, very heartbroken ako niyan. Very malungkot ako. Very sad ako. Kahit 
Marami kong work. Tapos, in fairness naman to me, marami rin naman nandigaw sa akin. Malungkot pa rin ako. I was very empty. But I like this picture kasi it's very vintage. It's very classic feel. So that's why I like it. But I was very sad during that day. Those days, it was a very sad time for me. So, yeah. Okay. So that's my family. Um, it's one of our dinners. You can see my sister there. Wala pa yung brother ko si Clark. I was everyone's baby. That's my dad, my mom, my lolo there. Yes. Yes, anak. But you need your thing. Okay. It's one of the dinners. I don't know where, but. Ganyan lagi itsura ko. Lagi akong dinadamitan ng mami ko na ganyan na parang dal. Um, kamukhang kamukha ko si Antonio. Okay. Na? Okay. That's my yaya Sita. Um, she's my yaya until I was six years old. Yung kalbo doon, that's my lolo Amando. The one green. The one in the dulo is my lolo Taka. What? So, yan. Yan yung family ko nung okay pa kami na financially. Okay, okay kami dyan. And growing up, I was okay until my lolo died there in the dulo. So, I think I was two years old here. And, okay, mukha akong Santo Nino kasi Nina nga nickname ko. Kaya pinaglihig kasi ako ni mami ko sa Santo Nino. Ganyan yung itsura ko ng bata ko. Okay, I think this is a baptism of my cousin, Kauri, there. That's my tita. That's my mom's sister, Tita Tess. And that's my sister, Bonita. Um, that's Tita Tess. She's already in heaven. She's the mom of my cousin, Ate Teresi. Hi, Ate. Um, she died of ovarian cancer last 2015. And uh, she died in Japan because she lives there. And she's the... That's my mom's sister, and they're very close. And um, pumarin kita ni mami yan iyak siya. Yun ang masasabi ko. And then, I don't know, si kamuhang kumuha ka talaga si Antonio. Very Antonio. I look like my son, super. And this is my ate Bonita, and I think she was 13 at that time. Um, I don't know where this was, pero binyag to eh. And, as you can see naman sa itsura ko, very pilyo akong itsura. Very makulit akong bata. And that's me. That's Kauri. May anak na. Imagine yung ganyan kaliit na baby. May anak na rin ngayon. <laughs> May anak na siya ngayon, dalawa. You know? Yung pinsan ko, na baby. Imagine nyo yun. Imagine nyo kung paano ang panahon, di ba? Yung baby na yung balik na yan. May ganyan na siya. Dalawa. Diyos ko. Grabe. This picture was our wedding. November 17, 19... 19. 2017. Um, it's one of the most important memories in my life. Kasi this... Never in my life na in... Actually... Inisip ko rin naman na ikakasal ako. Pero dahil sa mga pinagdaanan ko sa buhay, akala ko too late na and wala nang magmamahal sa akin. Until, and ito to, oh, umabot talaga sa point na ay, feeling ko wala nang magmamahal sa akin. And then never in my life na akala, inakala ko na someone will love me. And not just me, but my whole family. And never in my life na inisip ko na ikakasal ako ng tatlong beses. And this is the third time we got married. This is in church. And, um, this one talaga is proof na Cesar and I are one and the same person under God. And with God, no one can break it. And I'm just so grateful to God that He... I went through those things in my life. Because if not then, I realize kung hindi ko pinagdaanan yun, I will not be able to, to meet Cesar. I will not be able to meet him. And what we have now because of the things that I've been through, 
made, makes me appreciate him much more. And I'm very, very blessed that I am Mrs. Kimbao. And I am a loving, I have a loving husband. It's very, it's such a blessing in my life. And this is it. Yan na yan. And for him, you should ask him kung ano reaction niya dyan. Just sabihin niya dyan, ah, final, final. <laughs> yan na yun. Yan na yun. So, yun, never, inimagine ko naman na bata ako, ikakasal ako, ganyan. Nung bata ako, hindi yung mga actor na pinagdaanan ko, yung mga pinagdaanan ko. Nung mga bata ako, mga teenager, inimagine ko ikakasal ako. So, ganito, ikakasal ako, ganyan. And yung catering pa nga namin dyan, si Chef Jesse. Si Chef Jesse, mga bata pa ako, kinausap ko siya, Chef, you're gonna cater for my wedding, ha? And then she said yes. And true enough, she did. Um, and she was medyo hesitant pa kasi it's Pangasinan, it's too far. But because she promised me, she had to do it. So, hi, Chef Jesse. And, and there, it was a, my dream wedding. It's the happiest it's one of the happiest moments in my life and, you know, I'm speechless. I have nothing more to say but I'm very blessed and I'm very happy. And thank you, Cesar, for making me your wife and for choosing to be with me despite everything. And dami rin natin pinagdaanan bago tayo makarating dyan. Um, alam mo yan. And up to now, marami rin, marami, medyo marami pa rin tayong pinagdadaanan pero Ito yung talagang levels na pang pelikula levels. <laughs> uh, I love you and thank you, love, for changing my life. Because I'm gonna cry again. I saw the transition of my life from happy moments when I was young and when I was a teenager. And then when I started working and it wasn't something I was really passionate about. Um, and the heartbreaks, heartaches along the way. And you still chose to love me for everything that I am. And I'm very happy and I'm so blessed that we chose each other. So I love you and thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. Aww. You know guys, kung marami kayong pinagdadaanan sa buhay niyo, Maraming trials. Kapit lang kayo kay God. Alam nyo, yun yung masasabi ko. Kahit ang dami kong pinagdaanan nun. May times na nagagalit ako kay God. Dahil bakit niya binibigay sa akin yung mga ganyan. Pero, never akong hindi naniwala sa kanya. Lagi ako makakapit. And alam ko lagi siya nandyan. And, always believe that you will have the happy happy ending you you will always have the happy ending in your life because i got mine and that ending is just the beginning of a beautiful life so thank you thank you again and thank you guys for joining me here in the nina jose kiambao facebook page vlog of looking back at these pictures and parts of my life and well this is me a bit of me and i hope that you guys had fun with me so Thank you guys at in Arutaka. Thank you.